Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring syslog parameters for the Mediant 3000 using a release 6.2 EMS client. Audio Code's gateways support the very useful capability of communicating important system information and activity details using standard syslog formatted messages. It is more common and more useful, however, to configure the media gateway to send syslog messages to an external PC or server IP address and view them from a syslog server application. Audio Codes develops and provides the AC syslog server executable. Avaya does not endorse any specific third-party application or tool. We will demonstrate the configuration of the Mediant 3000 syslog settings which include a destination IP address, UDP port, and debug log level. The user interface for this demonstration will be a release 6.2 EMS client graphical user interface. The Avaya Release 2 classification for the Audio Codes Median 3000 corresponds to Audio Codes Release 6.2 software. The EMS client software specific to the release of Element Management System Server is available on the EMS Server Installation Software Disk. Please note that in an environment where the Mediant 3000 is managed by an Audio Codes Element Management System Server, all administration should be performed using the EMS client and not using the web interface. The EMS client will be started from a management PC or server. A username must be used with administration or administrator super user permissions. After authenticating, you receive the main EMS client graphical user interface. To access syslog settings, first navigate to the appropriate media gateway. Expand the appropriate location underneath the globe in the MG tree section. Then click the appropriate media gateway. A graphical representation of the media gateway appears in the configuration pane. The desktop options pane shows available configuration categories. Select the info and security frame option. The associated parameters provisioning screen appears in the configuration pane. Select the diagnostics parameter list tab. The syslog parameter fields are shown. Set the syslog enable dropdown to enable. The additional syslog related fields become configurable. Set the syslog server IP address. The default and standard syslog server port number of 514 may typically be left alone. Click the apply button when finished to save changes to Mediant 3000 RAM or volatile memory. We must now set the debug level. To set the debug level, first select the SIP Advanced Configuration option in the Desktop Options pane. The associated parameters provisioning screen appears in the Configuration pane. Select the Debug Parameters List tab. The Debug Parameter fields are shown. The debug level must be changed from the default value in order to start receiving syslog messages at the destination. Level 0 disables syslog, 1 provides PSTN and SIP call flow details, and 5 is used for debug tracing. Set the value to 5. Click the Apply button to save these changes to Mediant 3000 RAM or volatile memory. To make sure changes are saved to non-volatile flash memory and persist across hardware or software resets and power failures, first click Navigation in the toolbar. You again receive a graphical representation of the media gateway in the configuration pane. Alternate click or right click the active or gray trunk pack. Select the maintenance option. Then select Save into flash memory. You receive a question box asking if you wish to continue saving. It states that no traffic should be running on the device when saving the updated configuration to flash memory. 
The question box received in a web browser when saving the configuration to flash memory states that saving the configuration to flash may cause some voice degradation if performed during high traffic periods. If it is acceptable to continue, click Yes. A results table box appears showing the status of the save. Click Done after the item result is updated. Syslog configuration is now complete. Syslog messages will be sent to the previously specified destination. For additional information on using the EMS client graphical user interface and media gateway configuration, reference the Median 3000 Release 6.2 SIP Users Manual. Media Gateway documentation is contained on the Median 3000 Software and Documentation Disk or in the ISO available for download from plds.avaya.com. For detailed information on the EMS Client Graphical User Interface and Element Management System Server, reference the Element Management System Release 6.2 Users Manual. EMS documentation is contained on the Element Management System Software and Documentation Disk or in the ISO also available for download from plds.avaya.com. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.